everything in there. We got the ribs on top, guys, along with some turkey necks right in the front. In the bottom, we've got the turkey wings in the back and the pecan in the front. Today, we're going to cook some beef ribs, and I'm seasoning them with a smoking rub because we're going to smoke them in the smoker. I like a good, thick seasoning to penetrate the meat. It's a pretty big piece of meat. Plus, it's going to be smoking for hours, actually. So we have about one slab, and we're going to generously season both of them. Rubbing the seasoning into the meat. And get a nice crust on there when it comes out of the smoker. Season all the sides of the meat. Even the sides. Who are you talking to? The people. Oh. Even get the back, guys. Come on, get the back. There's some fat back there to create nice flavor when you're smoking. All the juices will drip down and keep these babies moist. Even like to do this side. There's meat on that side. See? Right between the bones. Mmm. So we have two nice slabs. Really one whole slab that we cut into two pieces. We got some huge turkey wings here, fresh from the farmer's market, that I seasoned with the McCormick's Grill sweet and smoky rub. I love this rub. It's really good on pork ribs and also very good on chicken. So we got some turkey wings along with the ribs and then we also have a couple of pieces of fresh turkey neck that I got from the farmer's market that's going to be delicious. So we're waiting for the smoker to heat up and then we're going to get these on to the smoker. So what we're using today is a Brickman smoker. So what we have in there is some wood chips. Give you guys a peek inside. Chunks. So these are wood chunks. Let me show you guys what kind we're using today. So today we're using 100% natural mesquite wood chunks and those work best in the smoker because they <coughs> tend to last longer than just charcoal or actually wood chips which burn away pretty quickly. The mesquite also has really good flavor. We found last time that the meat came out really smoky and flavorful. We also use hardwood lump charcoal, the cowboy brand. So we found that lump charcoal work better than the charcoal briquettes in this situation and um, as you see we had tried uh, royal oak in the past which worked well also but we tend to like this uh, cowboy brand a little bit better and how we started it is we used the um, fire starter 
chimney. The chimney starter is what it's called if you go to the store, but it also just starts fire. So you can just say fire starter if you want to. And then we put a little bit of paper in the bottom and then you put your charcoal on top, whether it's lump or regrets or whatever. And then once the charcoals get white, like they're, then they're ready to move over into the bottom of the smoker here. See, underneath the wood chunks, you'll see the white charcoal with the ash. And so we've heating, heating up the smoker right now. And we're waiting till it gets to a temperature where we're ready to put the meat in. So right now it's at 350, which is pretty high for smoking, but when you put it in, the temperature should go down. I think we're probably gonna wait till it gets around like 300, 250 to put the meat in actually to start the smoking process. We'll check back in when the fire's ready. So we're back with the meat. We're going to start piloting and piloting it into the grill on the separate grill racks inside the smoker. There's the beef ribs going in. And slide the rack back. Next will be the turkey wings and the turkey necks. Get those in. Pretty big pieces. Got the drumsticks. I cut them in half just to make them easier to handle. Let's see, we had the drumsticks of the turkey wing and then flats as well. So by using those wood chunks as I spoke about earlier that's going to help us maintain the heat in the smoker so we're able to keep this meat in there for the right amount of time without constantly adding pieces of charcoal as we found during our first trials of using charcoal and trying to use the smoker it's best to use wood chunks to maintain the heat Next, those will be nice and smoky when they come out. We got the turkey wings here in the second rack. Okay, guys, everything is in. Now we wait. So we're trying today this big piece of meat that I got from my local farmer's market. And we wanted to try it because we had this at a Brazilian steak restaurant, um, one of those all-you-can-eat restaurants. And we found it online and it's called Tana. And when I went to the farmer's market, I showed a photo of it and they were able to cut me a piece. And the definition that I found is called um, rump cap or uh, top cap, I believe. And it's a really tender piece of meat. Uh, at least that's how we've had it at the Brazilian restaurant. And we found that it's really juicy and flavorful. Um, the recipes we've seen for how to cook it really just said all you need to add is some nice coarse salt to give it a little bit of seasoning 
And outside of that, all this good fat that's on the meat will flavor it enough so where you really don't have to add much more seasoning than that. So we're going to give this a try today and see how it comes out. So we've just taken the pecana out of the pack and check out how much fat is on here in particular. Like really check out the marbling in this meat. So that tells us that it is going to be juicy. It is going to be very tender once we're done with it. And at the Brazilian grill, they use, I think, over charcoals, but we're going to try it in the smoker today. But it looks delicious. It looks like it's going to be very moist and tender uh, once we're done, just based on the fat and then all that delicious marbling um, that's throughout the meat. So we think it's going to come out really moist and tender. Okay, now we're going to cut it up into some manageable pieces. Uh, we noticed that at least at the restaurant, they cut it up and put it on to these nice skewers to make sure it's in manageable pieces to deliver and serve out the people on their plates as they walk around the restaurant. So we're also gonna just cut ours up into some skewers. These looks like some really delicious pieces. Let's get them closer. Really nice. Looks like it would be really nice and juicy. What we're gonna do is roll it similar to how they do in the restaurants. And this definitely allows the juices to really drip through. If you notice the fat cap around the outside of the meat, and then that will allow the juices from the fat to drip down into the meat and keep the meat nice and moist. Again, you'll notice we're rolling it into somewhat of a half moon shape, allowing the juices to drip down and keep the meat moist as it cooks. Hopefully we'll be able to get three pieces on here and then we'll use the skewer to stick it into the smoker. We're gonna sprinkle. Next, it doesn't need a lot of seasoning due to all this good marbling that the meat has and the amount of fat, but it is recommended to use a nice coarse salt on it. And then that's all the seasoning that you really need to use. Oh, that coarse that one. I think it's the same thing. Yeah, but that's like fine. Yeah. Do you want to use that? I think that's my problem. Yeah. So the salt that we're using is just the Morton's sea salt today. Um, we sprinkled a few pieces on there, but we're also going to grind it, grind some on there just in case. Because these big pieces might fall off once they hit the smoker. So it's the same salt in our grinder, but we're just adding some extra seasoning to make sure it sticks.
Gotta find a good spot for it. Got everything in there. We got the ribs on top, guys. Along with some turkey necks right in the front. On the bottom, we got the turkey wings in the back and the pecana in the front. We'll be back. So we're taking off the meat. It has been about how many hours? Uh, what time is it now? It is 7-Eleven. Uh, about four hours? It has been about four hours. So we got the turkey necks on the bottom. I have the beef ribs. Look at all that goodness on the outside. Got those delicious looking turkey wings coming off. A good color on those. And look at that kind of going back in for a little longer. Let's check it out. Keep that heating. So next, we are actually going to try doing some dessert in the smoker. So we have some pineapple with some brown sugar and cinnamon. So we've had pineapple with brown sugar and cinnamon before at another Brazilian type buffet when we were in Canada and it was really delicious so we're gonna give it a try today in our smoker. Hey guys thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons.